going on, DJBooth.net? This is your boy, DJ Blaze, and I'm kicking it in the lab as usual to give you guys a full rundown review video of the new Gemini GVX Sub 15P, which is the GVX uh, Gemini speaker series. This is the actual 15-inch subwoofer powered edition with a built-in amplifier. And as you can see here, it's just like the other GVX series speakers that we reviewed earlier um, last month. And you can tell that the construction is the same, which is very good. We have a very hard, solid wood construction, a nice cabinet with a textured wood feel to it. We have recessed handles on the side. On the top, we have a 35 millimeter pole mount. That way you can put a pole in and you can put your loudspeakers up top. Um, there's a front grill to protect your, your woofer. Um, these, this woofer that is in there is a uh, 2.5 inch voice coil with a 60 ounce magnet. So, you know, it's sure to give you good, deep, rich bass with a good bass response. And we also are sporting here on the bottom. You can see these are the, the actual holes for the air to move through for your bass to be responsive and clear out all that air that it must disperse in order to give you that nice deep bass. Um, along the back we have a bunch of inputs and outputs. This is a very good speaker system. During our test we had a two and a half hour testing where we had the volume controls up at 75% or higher and throughout the whole time the speaker was very good, very responsive. We didn't get any cracks, any pops any hissing, any background noise, we didn't get any flutter with the actual woofer itself, everything really delivered and played just as it should, just as with the other GVX lineup of speakers by Gemini. So the GVX line series of Gemini speakers are very very good and they even advertise it as probably their best subwoofer that they have ever created to come out of Gemini in their whole 35 year history. And I do believe it because this thing really performs well and it's just solid all around performer in the bass department. Um, a lot of features and we're going to flip it around on the back to show you guys all the extra features and goodies that this unit will give you when you get it or you decide to make the purchase and get one of these. Okay, so around the back you can see that we have a lot of inputs and outputs, a couple of knobs and buttons of control here. We'll just run it down for you guys. As you can see on the back, since this is a powered monitor, I'm sorry, a powered subwoofer system, you'll see the actual amplifier radiators here. And this is a 400 watt continuous power system and a 1600 watt peak system. So you're getting a lot of power here from this small box. So on the bottom, we have the on off switch, we have the selective voltage. So that way, no matter where you are around the world, you'll be able to use it. We have the three-prong computer type uh, AC plug that plugs in here in the bottom. If we go up to the top, we have a min-max volume control knob along with a frequency control knob. And this essentially turns the whole unit into a crossover. And I'll explain a little bit more in a second when we get to the actual inputs and outputs. We also have a phase button. That way, determining on the placement of your loudspeakers and your subwoofer, you'll know whether or not to press that button or not. That will give you a better or deeper bass response depending on how your loudspeakers are set up in relation to your subwoofer. So, for the inputs, we have the dual purpose quarter inch or XLR inputs. These are all balanced. And outputs, we have a output throughput that way you're getting the whole frequency band that your input is giving you. You're just relaying it back out to your other speakers. Or you can go through your high pass output. And this output here will make it so that any range that the subwoofer is not picking up will be spit back out through the high pass um, filter here, or that high pass output filter. So that way you're only going to be feeding your other speakers the frequency that is not picked up by the subwoofer itself. And in a sense you're allowed to control which frequencies you want your subwoofer to pick up so that way you're changing actually what is being output through the high pass output. So you also have an internal cross, crossover control here and this will work for that purpose as well. Alright, so 
in conclusion, basically what you're getting here from Gemini for only 400 bucks, by the way, is a very versatile system. You have a very protected casing, a system that feels and sounds like it's going to last you a long time. You have excellent sound quality, deep bass handling, and, and everything we threw at it, no matter what type of music we threw at it, and we bumped it very loud, and we never had any issues whatsoever. It responded extremely well, and it performed extremely well. No complaints really whatsoever. Um, the one minor gripe that I do have with the unit is it is pretty heavy. It's 65 pounds. It doesn't sound too bad, but when you're having to move this thing from place to place, if you're a mobile DJ, you might want to maybe leave it at home one time or another because you might not want to move this thing around very often. But once you do get it moving, it's not that hard to maneuver. And you do have your handles here, and if someone else gives you a hand, you know, it won't be that much of a problem. But overall, we're going to recommend the Gemini GVX Sub 15P to anyone at all in, in the club industry, bars, home, home, home setup, or your... Your, your mobile DJ setup, this will more than suffice for most of you guys' needs in the subwoofer department. For your small to medium sized venues, this is going to work lovely and it will be very reliable um, dependent upon how our test went with it. I have to say that this is going to be a reliable piece of machinery here. So for more on the written review, you guys can check us out at www.djbooth.net slash djs for djs. You can follow me on Twitter for your daily DJ updates. That's at DJBlaze underscore DJ Booth. And subscribe to us on YouTube. The YouTube channel is YouTube.com slash Real DJ Blaze. Thanks for watching.